Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I post anything, but because I have some family um, matters to attend to. But uh, what I have here today is the GT626. Um, there is three variant, so I got the higher spec. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably thinking this is just another cooling pad. But you know what? This thing actually works. So let's find out. gonna take a look at the design of the cooling pan so right here we have is the foam here so this is definitely for the smaller laptop for the 14 inch the 13 inch up to 15 if you want to go for something bigger you can always take this out you can modify it throw that aside and you have the 18 inch and the 17 inch so this one you actually is manic here so you just clip on you can take this out you can wash it you can do whatever seal design very nice and right here we will have the touchscreen under here and we have the USB on the side and this will connect it to your laptop and then you can have your extended hub for your USB so now we are gonna test the sound and um, just bear with me because I'm very up close with the camera so it's gonna be quite loud okay I'm gonna turn it on So this is 1,100. This can go up to 2,800 RPM. So for you to up it, you can just touch me. 1,007. We're gonna go even louder, okay? This is 1,007. And this is the maximum speed that you can get. So it's quite loud, but it's bear with me. I'm gonna lower a little bit. So I can speak yeah so what so what happens like even though it's loud on the camera but when you have your laptop sits on top of the cooling pad it's actually much lower so you're not most likely you're not gonna go for 2008 rpm you could but in my experience I think 1006 and 2000 it's the average speed which is good enough that it will reduce your your cooling by 20 Celsius so from the back, we can look at the RGB. You know, this is some RGB that you can play around. This is two button right here. And the back will be the dust protector. So you can actually remove this right here. You can remove here and uh, you can clean this. It's very well thought that this is where the air sucks it in to prevent more dust into your laptop. Very easy, you got the extended here, you know, two side. Overall, the quality build, it's very good. It's very good. It's uh, it's definitely not light. It's quite uh, decent heavy. Um, this is not portable, so if you're gonna, if you're gonna bring this into your bag, no, this, this won't work. This is something that's gonna be sit at your home, station-wise, and then get the best optimal on your temperature. So this is it guys. All right guys, so this is the game that I'm currently testing and it's called The New World. And as you can see that I just started my game and it's already hitting 90C. So if I continue to play it, it will definitely reach 100C. So this is without the cooling pad. And I'm just gonna run around on the world and let's just check it out and see if the temperature do rise. And now I'm gonna see what happened when I put the cooling pad now this is with the gt626 as you can see that the temperature has been dropping to 79 or 76 and let's see how far it can go so right now it's hitting average 75 around 7 in the 70 so you're talking about 15 to 20 Celsius different from just a cooling pad all right guys so here's my take if you guys are a hardcore gamer like i am you would definitely want to invest on a really good cooling pad. So this actually comes with three variants. You got the 600, you got the 621, and then the 626, which this is the higher end one. So what's the difference, right? So the lower end only gets up to 1006 RPM in the turbofan. 
and you don't really get the RGB light and you don't get the, the USB uh, hub on the side. And the medium spec just adds on with the RGB, but it actually increased the turbo speed to 2008. Now the higher spec had just have everything with the hub here, with the 2008 turbo fan, and overall they're all same design. And the real question is, do you really need the 2800? I got this for testing and honestly, I never even passed 2000, honestly. I would go 1006 to 2000 at most for playing the really high-end gaming. So I don't see the point actually going to get the high-end, which costs, this is actually quite expensive. The only reason you would want to get this is because you want the extra extension on the side, which I, I like it, my laptop clean, so I'm not even using this because I have everything on behind my laptop. All right guys, so let's talk about the design, right? Why does this cooling pad works and other doesn't, right? Because this is quite unique and I've been trying a lot of different cooling pads and although some of them do work, but it's very minor, you know? It's just lifting up the laptop and getting the cool air in. But how can this possible a cooling pad that is able to reduce your temperature by 20 Celsius, if not 15 to 20 Celsius, right? So it has to do with the design, which I'm quite surprised that other companies are not copying it because it's quite simple. It's the foam design that you have here. Um, pretty much is it seals off the, the side of your laptop. So when your laptop sits on it, um, the air is not going, it's not leaking to anywhere, but just going through your laptop. So one of the example is like in a room, you turn on your AC, right? But you have your window and door open. So it's not gonna cool your room off. Well, it's almost like the same thing where they're closing the seal here. And the other thing that makes it more interesting is this cooler is not sharing the power source from your laptop. So you're not plugging USB like the normal one to, to, your, to your laptop. So it's actually, um, you have to plug in with a different outlet. So it has its own AC adapter. So this is why that this is able to pull off and reduce the temperature so much. And it's brilliant, you know? Um, it's definitely one of the one of the kind of design and it's expensive, no doubt, it's very expensive, but if I am a hardcore gamer, if I do use my laptop for a long term, I will highly recommend you try it out and even get the GT, that's one that's GT500, and then this is the latest, I believe, is GT600. And you can play around with them, which variant that you want, but definitely recommend this brand because it's really good.